Welcome everyone. This is another video where I will be doing a testing of products. In this case, I went and got some stamping plates from AliExpress. Um, and as you can tell, I've used this one and I stopped using it after figuring out that the regular polish I was using it with did not work very well, which was, I was using this LA Colors Color Crazed. So then um, I went ahead and said, Let's go ahead and buy some stamping polish. You see that? It says stamping polish. So we're gonna see today if this type of nail polish makes a difference versus regular. And if it does not, A, I'm going to be very upset, and B, it will save you the time and money from making the same mistake that I did. So with that said, I also have some very old Born Pretty brand um, stamping plates that I bought. They usually, they actually come in this cute encased um, little sleeve. I just took them out, cleaned them. It These worked with certain regular nail polishes. Some of the stamps did not come out as well with others. But again, I bought this way before I bought this stamping nail polishes and I just, I thought it was the stamping plate, which is why I invested in these. Coming to find out, even with then having a different stamping plate, regular nail polish still did not work. So now I bought these. And we're going to do a little comparison today. I got my little white nail ready to go. And I think I'm going to use, um, so I have a gold china glazed, black LA colors, but I did find out that since this has glitter, it glitters very hard to remove from these once you clean them. So I think I'm just gonna use a different nail polish um let's go ahead and pick a bright color that we can see so we'll pick hmm, i'll pick this blue jessica and it's a regular polish this is not a stamping polish so just so we can test out different colors and brands and vibes at the same time um so i think with that let's get started i'm trying to find the oh here it is the swiping thing. And I wanted to show you guys the difference between what I got from AliExpress versus Born Pretty. These I bought on Amazon. They came in, you know, like I said, they come in these little sleeves. These just come in plastic wrapping that looks just like this. So after I take this blue label off, I'm gonna have to just file them away neatly and hope that it stays. Um, but yeah, I got some really cool ones that, you know, I never actually tried since nothing else ever worked. So I'm hoping now that I have Born Pretty stamping plates and Born Pretty stamping polish, we can get some sort of cool designs going on. But again, we'll see. Um, so I would say I've been, you know, it's spring and I wanted to do some flowers, which is why I had opened this one. So I think I'm gonna start with that. Um, this stamping plate has the cool feature where you can do like your base color and then, um, you know, like just the base is one color. And then the other one, you can do the outline a different color and stamp it over that. I'm going a little over my realm here, but I'm gonna hope that it works. So I think I'm just gonna do a basic gold flower. I just opened these today. I have no idea what they're going to look like and I'm just hoping that uh, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> Anyways, but let me just put these to the left over here. Got my nail ready, got my stamp ready, got my swiper ready, and okay, here we go. Oh, actually, I should put this on top of a napkin so that I don't swipe on my desk. Yes, I know, I was cleaning with this napkin, which is why I torn into pieces, but you know what, just go with it, y'all. So everything I read is like, don't use too little polish, don't use too much. So I'm just gonna put some on the top. Ooh. And don't swipe too hard. So just kind of swiped normal there. Oh my God, that was a stamping plate that fell off my, my table. Not too much pressure. Oh, well, mm, let's see if it can be saved. I don't know. Mm. 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 No, no, no. Oh, 
we didn't shake this one. Oh, shoot. Well, let's see what happens there. Oh, Jesus. You're not supposed to double swipe either. I guess that was not enough nail polish. Okay, let's... And I think you're supposed to wipe it off. You know what? I don't want to test this incorrectly, so I'm just going to remove it. I just got a cotton ball and some nail polish remover. Okay. Try that again. With a bit more nail polish. Oh my gosh, that's I think that's too much. Okay. That might have been a little too much, but you know what? It kind of lets us see what's going to happen with these other stamp stains. So let me take these off of here. Okay, I can't take off the old stamps, but whatever. We're still going to... I wish I could take it off. I don't know how to remove it from the stamp. I thought you could easily just like use a piece of plastic and make them come off, but I guess not. Ooh. Okay, I don't want to waste too much time. Oh my goodness. I'm so nervous. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Again, I don't know if that was... I don't know what that was. I don't know if that was the way I stamped or whatnot, but... Okay. Not very successful. Oh, that came off. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I guess maybe let's try a Born Pretty stamping plate. We could do that. Ooh, I want to use this cool one with the patterns, though, that fell under my table. So I'm going to move this. I already know this one does not work with regular nail polish, so I'm not even going to try any of these ones over here. No. Because I already know. So I think the gold is definitely a little bit of a different formula than the black. Um, so I'm just shaking it up since I didn't shake it the first time. Let's do... Let's do a swirly star thing. It's kind of cool. Oy, I think that's a lot. These were not very expensive on AliExpress. It was, I think, I don't even know. I bought it so long ago. Mm. Okay, that's kind of pretty. I like it. We're gonna put some, some pressure not to, oh, look at that. I like that. Okay, and we can just, maybe we can stamp our Flower power. Oh, Y'all, that's nice. Okay. I know this also doesn't work with regular nail polish because you can see I also cleaned this one. This is an old one. You know, I'm starting to think this stamping polish is not a scam. I always thought like, oh, they're just trying to make you buy anything. But, uh, I mean, that works pretty well. Okay, and that was with the Born Pretty stamping plates. to remove this thing it's not letting me you guys get the point it works on this stamping plate which is I can't even see the name anymore it's BPL050 let me see that <laughs> that stamping plate um I think I kind of want to try a different Aliexpress one a different Aliexpress stamping plate um, I have this cute little mermaid not mermaid but like sea ocean vibes kind of thing and we, it is summer so I'm going to the beach in a few weeks and maybe I can do a cool like nail design before my trip that'd be awesome so this will be perfect test so we will test out oh my gosh you know 
the regular nail polish with it since I've not used the stamping plate with regular nail polish. Now we'll do the AliExpress one. I want to do. Let's do a blue fish. Um, I think it'd be cool if we do like. this outline thing, right? Test it out a little bit. Let's swipe you thing. We'll swipe down. Not bad. Okay, get me my stamper. I think I might just need a new one. Oh, not bad. Can y'all see that? And this was with regular nail polish. The outline came out nice. The filler though, ugh, I could do without. Let's see. We'll put the filler on the side here with the outline right on top of it, which would go something like here. I may not have lined that up. Nope, did not line that up right. But that outline was on point. And that was regular nail polish. So I think it must just be based on the designs um, and how fluid your nail polish is. The ones that I've tried it with, the more runny, you saw how runny this was. The more runny it is, it did sometimes work, but for some reason the filling ones are not working that well. Um, so we can test it out. We can let's try a very very detailed. Um, do we want to do? Let's do. Hmm. I don't know. Let's do the mermaid tail. Nah. Something very detailed. Let's try a fish. A fish that's got all his scales on there. Let's see how detailed we can get with this stamping polish. Oh no. Well, I didn't cover the tail, but if everything else comes out nice. Oh, you guys, look at that. Okay. I'm sold. This stamping nail polish is the shit. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm supposed to say that. Okay, I guess this video is going to be censored. But look at that. Even though I didn't get all of the tail, it got every single other detail on here. Like, look at the little, I don't even know what it's called, the little stripe in the, in the middle. You see the eyes, you see the little fish eyes and the fins. I am obsessed. I'm going to buy all of these in every single color. Wow, this is so cool. Ooh. Now I wonder, like, I mean, the fish kind of worked with the blue. But I have a feeling that what doesn't work with regular nail polish is the thick stuff. Like, let's try this seashell thing. Because with that fish, it did not work, but with that one, it did. And that's for regular nail polish again. So I don't really know what it looks for. Um, okay, that kind of worked. So I think if you have time, patience, and a very good regular nail polish, you could go ahead and try testing regular ones with your stamping plate and might end up with a good product. Look at that. But if you want a guaranteed, like if you're a nail tech, this is good for like at home people, <laughs> I will say. Us using regular nail polish is good for at home. If you're a nail tech, I would highly recommend doing these instead an actual, you know, 
stamping polish because you know when you're doing this for money you don't have time to start fixing nail art like no you might if you're gonna fix things you might as well hand draw everything but hey if you're at home and you got time like i'm just messing around right now this is this is the from aliexpress this is the plate xmq-09 so i really do think one it depends on the type of nail polish you use because as we saw um i mean i don't know the warm pretty didn't really work well with this plate which is this was a different brand i think yeah this was this brand this is oh shoot i didn't write it down but whatever this was this is this works um and i think all of these little ones are the same because there was one of those like buy it was like three four three dollars or something like that but these big ones i don't think are gonna work as well as the little ones um let's try the flower with the blue nail polish maybe um i don't i don't know why that would work better than the actual stamping polish shoot let's try a different flower you know don't settle let's pick something new um um I want to try something that you can do hold on i don't want this chart to drip everywhere i want to try something you can do the outline with oh there's so many options i don't even know um let's do this rose bush or flower, whatever leaf bush thing i'm gonna do this swipe Okay, and if we were to, oh, I took up all my nail space already. Okay, um, I don't know where to place this, but oh, I have sticky notes. We're down to that now. If we stamp it there, oh my god, that didn't work. Okay, we're fine. That's kind of odd that it didn't work on on that. I don't even know what you're supposed to put over that bush. I think it's this top one here. Oh, look at that. That worked pretty well. If I really wanted to, I can then go through and hand paint this with a different color. And it would, sorry, the specs you see at the bottom is because I was using that gummy for a different design. Let me remove that. Okay. Um, but this came out really well. So I don't know that it's, I don't know that um, stamping polish is a scam or not. But I do, it looks like, you know, certain designs work well with certain regular nail polishes so i wouldn't knock it till you try it i guess in conclusion i don't have a definitive answer um i think i actually have never seen a stamping plate work this well with regular nail polish so apparently a Jessica brand is a good nail polish to try. The ones that I've used, again, did not, that did not work was the LA Colors. And I also used this one here, China Glaze. This was not good, not good. It left my glitter, it left the glitter stuck everywhere on the stamping plate. It was very hard to remove. And I think the other ones I used, um, it, were, it was by this brand here mineral fusion so i would not recommend this on this regular um, nail polish for stamping plates because it did not work so um yeah i mean i would say if you're you know if there's a good deal and there's a bundle definitely born pretty would be a good investment uh all of these that we've stamped so far with the born pretty now god it, why is it not coming out I don't know how to clean that. I don't know. It's stuck in there now and it only it only comes off on the nail. That's so crazy to me that 
it comes off there, but not on any other form of plastic. And look at that. Well, you, can, you can't see it because I stamped all over it, but that detail was very fine on that. So I really think it depends on the stamping plate um, and the nail polish and the design. So I was about to knock on this brand, but those two worked really well. <sighs> now I have, I mean, unless I go through all of these and try it, I don't know. Let's do this. Let's try this brand again with a different nail polish, a different regular nail polish. And we'll see if we get a similar scenario. These are really cute, by the way. I just don't know. Um, let me just paint over this too. I was not, I didn't think it was gonna be this successful. I thought it was just gonna be one of those like, okay, we're gonna try a bunch. Regular nail polish is gonna suck, stamping is gonna be good. Or the other way, stamping is gonna suck and oh, I'm gonna prove that it's a scam. Oh no, I just did my nails this afternoon. My husband's gonna be very mad. Cause he says I'm always doing my nails. And yes, I am. Hence these videos. Try that on, hurry, hurry. Um, we can, I mean, we can try. This is a good runny kind of black, but let's try a Mineral Fusion Red. Oh my God. One second, I dropped my nail polish on the floor. Oh. Okay. Boom. I just said this one wouldn't work, so. You know what? I'm setting up this, pa um, this plate for failure. Let's do goodness what's a good there's this random brand i've never used in stamping plates it's purple so it'll be somewhat easy to see um should we go go hard or go home let's do a cool intricately designed whatever this is called what is it called dream catcher Okay, did not apply too much pressure to swipe the polish. I'm not applying too much pressure to claim the design. And here's the result. Not too bad. So again, that goes with my comment of stamping polish might be a scam if you have good brand new regular polishes. If your regular polishes are a little old, I would invest in some stamping polishes and use your regular polish as like a base like this. And we're just gonna stamp that right in here. Boom. Pretty, pretty, I like it. Not bad, not bad. Um, following up with another Stamping polish. I don't even know if that's enough or not. God, it's faster. Ugh, I did it again. I didn't swipe the full picture. So I don't, ex obviously I don't expect the full dream catcher to come through. Oh, look at that. Okay, these are not a scam, y'all. Stamping polish is not a scam. That shit works. I would definitely invest in some cool colors like this gold. I'm checking, excited to try the silver now. Because I got the silver, black, white, and gold. Oh, God, I, I totally missed the top of the nail. <laughs> oh, okay. The design did get a little... What's the word I'm looking for? The detail is very like, it's hard to see because it's metallic. 
but it's very lumped together but i don't blame that on the nail polish at all i blame that on the design itself it's the detail you can't even see it here on the stamp so i didn't expect it to come out too um too detailed I keep saying that word but that was this stamping plate um so you know what i'm not gonna knock on this brand either i really think it's gonna be more of a trial and error for me um would i use solely stamping polishes no um but you know only you know the quality of your regular ones this one is it's very new you saw how runny this was if I were to use this white, you guys saw how goopy this was when I put it on this, it would not work. And now that I say that, this is exactly what I used when I first got this palette. So based on all of these different trials, I now know that regular polish could work as long as it's thin enough. And stamping polish is not a scam. You, could, you will probably get a perfect design on the first try every single time so there's that i don't know if this was useful or not um i'm kind of finding that i went all over the place with it but i'm excited to try these stamping plates and i hope y'all found it useful this was again this was the born pretty stamping polish you all saw me use it with the born pretty stamping plates this was another one that i have from them but the one that i showed you guys was actually this um and, it, and both of these combined worked really well. I would hope so, right? Same brand. I, I would think their products would work well together. Um, but yes, yeah, so if you are okay with um, buying a little bit cheaper stamping plates and spend a little more on a good stamping polish, I would definitely think that's a good way to go, especially if you're starting out um, or if you're just doing this at home for fun. Um, clearly the brands that are designed together work really well together and that's another option to take but um, yeah I hope this was kind of useful maybe if not you know um, I mean I still made it so there's that well um, I hope y'all enjoy the video and I will be posting more reviews soon Thank you all. Bye.